Hey guys, do you want a chance to win this singularity on my screen right now? All you have to do is sub and comment your gamer tag and you'll be entered in for my 400 subs giveaway. That will be posted as soon as I hit 400 subs. Thank you guys. Enjoy the video. You know I came through. You know I came through. You know I came through with the fuego. You know I came through. Hey, you know I came through. You know I came through with the fuego. You know I came through. Hey, you know I came through. Nowadays, I cannot lay low. I cannot lay low. Yeah, I cannot lay low. You know I came through. Hey guys, it's VPR6, and today we are continuing the Nothing to Titanium White Sambas series, where I will be getting Titanium White Sambas in my last trade since this is the final episode. And don't worry. This has been a really big hit among you guys, and the support's been really good, so I will do more of these in the future, but I want to return to a couple weeks of tournament crate openings and montages, and when by the next time I do it, it'll be something bigger, like I'm thinking maybe a Titanium White Dominus, and so I won't do it every week, I'll like switch off, so one week will be a Titanium White Dominus, then I'll take a break and do a montage, and the next week will be the same video, nothing to White Dominus, and yeah. So, and so on. So, this one, I just wanted to kind of test the waters, and so I did all four in the four weeks. And you guys seem to like it. So, yeah, I'll definitely do it in the future. But make sure you watch towards the end, because something crazy does happen that I was definitely not expecting, and it gave me some really good content. So, it's a longer video, but that makes for the finale. So, everyone enjoy, and yeah, just have a good time. Let's get into the first trade. Okay, so the first trade that I got into in this last episode was just selling my Neuro Agitator for 600 credits, which, if you guys don't remember, I said that it's always better to have credits as opposed to an item because credits are more versatile and people are going to want credits more. So I got no profit, but I got credits. So then the next thing I did was I sold my NCVR for 40 credits, which again is zero credits profit because... NCVRs are 40 credits usually, and that was one of those times. This trade, I did lose 30 credits profit on, but keep in mind that when selling limiteds, no matter what they are, unless they're like fan rewards, they're going to be pretty hard to sell, and you're not going to get the right price on them. So even just selling it for 30 creds to me was just worth it, so I did. And then I was trying to give this guy my Dragon Lord and 450 credits for his party time, but he didn't want to. So I just had to do 500 credits, which is still minimum price. And so I really needed some profit. And so I just wanted to do that so I could hopefully sell it for 550 credits and make a quick profit. And so then I didn't want just straight credits or I did, but I couldn't find someone who wanted to give it to me. So I just bought an NCE and pink inverted grip strides for the party time. So that's about 550 credits. So again, no profit. But this guy wanted to buy my NCI and 100 credits is a 40 credit profit. I don't know why he wanted to buy it for 100 credits, but I mean, I don't care. Works for me. So yeah, I sold him my NCI and got the extra 40 credits. And so then again, the four screen breakout is like kind of hard to sell. So I just wanted to sell it for whatever I could sell it for. And I was going for 150 creds, but this guy gave me a titanium white tune flame and 50 credits, which is 150 credit profit. So can't complain there. And then I just did a quick trade to sell my NCE for credits, because remember, credits are always good to have. And so that's another 200 credits for me, another zero credit profit trade. But... All of these trades are just trying to help me get a better deal for the White Zombas because I'm actually pretty close to being able to offer. It's just might not be the best offer. So this guy, I knew since NCEs are really easy to sell, I just would buy them for 350 credits and sell them for 400 to make a quick, easy 50 credit profit, which is exactly what I did. And I sold them right here. So I got zero credits profit, but all in all, I really got 50 credits profit. So... I really got another 50 credits more, and I this trades, I'd say these these two trades only took me like five minutes, I don't know. I can't quite remember now, but they really didn't take long. So any trades you can find like this where you're getting NCEs for a really low amount, like 150 credits, for example, you're just going to make that credit profit like really quickly. And so I at this point, I was getting... 
tons of NCEs and just selling them because that was just getting me tons of profits. So as you can see, I just got another 50 credit profit here. And again, that took like no time at all just to find those two trades. So I was definitely down to do both those trades. And then this guy was going to give me four NCIs for 100 credits, which is 140 credit profit. But for some reason that day, I was having a really hard time finding buyers. But any in any way, 100 credits for four NCIs is like nothing. So, yeah. And here, I bought a four screen RLCS. Uh, if you don't know, that's a fan rewards item. And fan rewards are always pretty hard to sell, but titanium white tomb flame is pretty hard to sell. So I settled with basically giving the tomb flame a 200 credit value and getting a four screen Dominus RLCS. And here I bought another two NCIs for 30 credits a pop, which is 30 credits um, profit a piece. So that's just another 60 credit profit there. And I now have six NCIs. So that's going to be kind of hard to find a buyer for, but not too bad. And so this one, this guy really wanted me to buy his Black Orbit, and I've never had a Black Orbit before on either of my accounts. So I didn't know if it sold easier or not, so he added an Anodized, and I gave him the 300 credits that he wanted. And so I figured that would be fine. And actually, the other guy that was in the party wanted the Black Orbit, and he gave me an NCE and an NCI, so I figured that's fine. It's a negative 40 credit profit, but I didn't know how easy it was going to sell, and if there's already a buyer there, I mean, why not? So I sold those two, and I sold the five NCI, five of the six NCI that I'd gotten earlier. And like I said, I couldn't find a buyer, so I had to settle with 270 for five because I wanted to sell them all pretty quickly. So that's 270 credits or a negative 30 credit profit. But again, I needed the credits, and it's still a very good profit for what I bought them for. And so then I sold another NCE that that guy had given me for the Black Orbits for 200 credits, as usual. So that's a zero credit profit, but, and it's, again, it's 200 credits. So, yeah. And then I sold the Anodized for Anodized Pearl, which is the exact same value, but Anodized Pearl, in my opinion, sells easier. I see more people that want Anodized Pearl than that want Anodized. So I was fine with getting an anodized pearl, and I just figured I'd be able to sell easier. So then I sold another two NCI that I'd gotten for 100 credits. 110, actually. He wanted 100, and he said firm in all caps. And so then um, I said 110, like, kind of as a joke, and he just did it. So, yeah, 110 credits for those two NCI, or a negative 10 credit profit. And here I did the math wrong. I thought I was giving him a very fair offer, but really I was losing 100 credits because Z current went down, of course, like 200 credits that day. And so I was just like, oh God, I got to sell this thing. And so I did that, but I lost 100 credits. And yeah, I wasn't expecting that. And this guy, I uh, badgered him to add the forest green inverted glaive wheels, which are really cool if you've never seen them. And he did, and so that made his deal worth 2,500 credits and gave me a 750 credit profit, which is crazy. I didn't even realize that at the time. I actually thought it was, like, more fair than it was. I thought it was, like, 2,100 or something. But it wasn't, so that's pretty cool. And I sold my biomass here for a Trigon and 100 credits for a, fit, for a quick 50 credit profit, which, again, is fine with me. And then I sold my Grey Zombas. The only reason this guy wanted to buy them was because they were PCC, as you see, Player's Choice Series. And so that actually got me this buyer. And so, yeah, he gave me 400 credits. That's a zero credit profit for the Gray Zombas. And here I had, like, a pretty good deal for White Zombas. It's, like, a big overpay deal. But I just figured the more credits I have, the easier um, I'd find a buyer. So I sold the Dracos for 150 credits. And at this point, this is pretty much when I had already been offering people for White Zombas on the side on an app. So, but everyone had been saying no for a while. So that worked for me. And then this guy was going to give me another party time for my Trigon and two of the exotics I got from the Interstellar and some other trades. And so that was a 50 credit profit, plus I gave him some hard to sell items. Then this guy gave me an atomizer and 200 credits for a party time, which at the time was a 50 credit profit. Now, atomizer went down 50 credits, so it looks like it's just a fair trade, but then it was a good trade. Gave me a 50 credit profit. So, 
Yeah, and then I just sold the Dominus GT and 100 credits for an NCE because an NCE is going to be easier to sell than a Dominus GT. And I got a zero credit profit, but I got an easier to sell item. And so then that's exactly what I did. I sold that item for 200 credits and I got myself enough credits to hopefully offer for white Zombas. And so that's what I did. I offered so many people and I had a pretty good offer ready. Okay guys, this is what I was talking about when I said something crazy happens towards the end. So, as you see in those last trades, I was starting to get a pretty good offer for White Sambas. And so I must have messaged about 100 people on RL Trading Post and they pretty much all said no. And so I figured, okay, well, I might as well just ask some more people, but they'll probably say no. But no, I was wrong. I messaged about like six more people and four of them said yes. So then I had the problem of who am I going to trade with? And the first two people that I told I probably wouldn't do the trade were fine with it. They're just like, okay, they didn't really care one way or the other. But the last two really wanted the white Zombas. So one guy even messaged, he had cert white Zombas, goalkeeper cert, and he said he'll add 100 credits. But he was the third guy, and I didn't want to be mean to the first guy. And so the first guy told me he'd add 150 credits which, you know, you can't trade credits for credits. So basically, I just had to subtract 150 credits from my offer. And so I still have credits right now with the White Zombas. But anyway, let's go into the trade. So as you can see, something crazy did just happen. And I got this offer for 150 credits less than I thought I would give, which is still a crazy overpay. I lost 380 credits, but it's just insane. I finally got White Zombas after four episodes and a lot of trading. Anyway, these are the white Zombas on my car and we ended up getting a total inventory that's worth 3,700 credits and that's a total profit of 3,600 credits, which is insane. We did that in four videos and we have white Zombas to show for it. So thank you guys for all the support on this series and I'll be sure to do another one of this sort soon. Thank you guys for watching.